Hello everybody, it's Phil Thatch and the other day my daughter Casey asked me to make some senior photos of her and her boyfriend and I'm not really a portrait photographer but I do uh, tend to try to be a jack of all trades photographer so I thought for portraits I would use a full frame camera so I got my Nikon Z6 and I used, uh, I used my 24 to 70 f2.8 lens and just a little bit I used my 50 millimeter f1.8 and I love using this lens for portraits. This is the, looks better when it's on like this. This is the 70 to 200 F 2.8 G VR2. So I used uh, that gear for these shots and there's, there's quite a few of them. I just kind of wanted to show them to you and maybe talk to you about them just a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do is do a screen recording from Lightroom and let you see what I was able to come up with with this Z6 and these semi-vintage Nikon lenses. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and these are the senior pictures that I made of Casey and Ian. Wait a minute, that is a frog that I made with the 200 to 500 at f7.1 and 1 80th of a second. Let's get to the senior pictures. Wait a minute, that is a very cute puppy dog that I made with the 70 to 200 at 190 millimeters f2.8 we really, uh, we almost forgot we were supposed to be making pictures because we were so uh, in love with this cute little, uh, what is it, a corgi? Mm -hmm. It's a corgi. Cool, okay, so actual senior pictures. Here's Ian, this is also, this is on the uh, Walnut Street pedestrian bridge with kind of a, a backlit tree in the background that at f2.8 was really bokeh-fied and that's a 200 millimeter shot with the Z6. And here's another uh, shot slightly more up close. Now here I'm at 95 millimeters and the, the tree in the background is still very bokeh -fied. And Casey wanted to get in on the act. I think these were actually supposed to be Ian's senior pictures, but you know, we're gonna get some pictures of Miss Casey. So there's Casey in that same spot. And here's both of them in the same spot, still using the same lens. This one is 165 millimeters. Now we went over off the edge of the bridge and they a lot of times like to go to this restaurant called the Ice Cream Show. Casey even worked there for a little while. So I made this photograph of them with the Ice Cream Show logo behind them. I really wish the ATM sign was not illuminated in this shot, but otherwise I kind of like it. Now there's a beautiful hotel uh, just across the street from the Ice Cream Show called the Edwin Hotel. And the person who was working the door in front of the hotel invited us in to make photographs inside. He said, hey, you can come in here and make pictures. And I said, okay. So in we went and I switched to the 50 millimeter F 1.8. And this is the only shot I made with that lens uh, with a piece of art behind Ian. So here is a picture. I switched to the 24 to 70 F 2.8 and made this photograph of Casey sitting in this really unusual looking chair. And now here are both of them sitting in the unusual looking chair. And, and I made several shots of each of these poses. And on this one, I couldn't decide if I like this pose best or this pose best. So I just kind of kept both of them. Now, all of these shots have been run through a program called Topaz Denoise. Even though there's not a lot of ISO in this, I just like the way Topaz does its sharpening. It does a really nice job of sharpening without over sharpening. So all of these you'll see up here in the top where it says TIFF. That's because it's been exported as a 16-bit TIFF and run through Topaz Denoise. Here is Ian sitting on one of the couches in the lobby. And the lobby in this part of the lobby in this hotel is kind of designed to look like a living room in a house. So there is Ian sitting on the couch. And this is a hallway that goes off of the um, lobby slash living room area of the Edwin Hotel. And here's Ian sitting in the floor I thought this shot came out pretty cool at 35 millimeters and I an f3.2 for this one. Back down to 2.8, I took a couple of pictures of Ian standing uh, in this area between two, basically two living room setups, I guess, there at the Edwin. And here's a kind of an up close picture of Ian. I don't know, I, I got one of his eyes in focus and the other one not in focus. I was trying to to uh, get him sharp in the chandelier bokeh in the background. And here is Ian standing in front of a fireplace. I, I wish I had more room and, you know, I didn't want to move their furniture all around, but I, if, if I could have moved the table out of the way, I could have gotten, and I, if I could have moved back further, I could have gotten the entire fireplace and then it probably would have been better. 
And now this is kind of the, the main lobby, right? When you first step in, actually, when you first step in, there's a concierge desk. And then if you go to the left, there's a restaurant and, in, and right in front of the restaurant is this beautiful uh, kind of a butterfly multicolored background. And uh, it's a great place. It's, it's a very Instagrammable place to get your picture made. And here is Ian and Casey there. And now we have left the Edwin Hotel and we've gone about 14 blocks down the road to the Chattanooga Choo Choo. And I love to make photographs of people with this Chattanooga sign in the background. But the with the 70 to 200 f2.8, which I had switched to, the uh, it was completely, it was so bokeh the Chattanooga logo back here that you couldn't read it. So I had to stop all the way down, as you can see here, I had to stop all the way down to f9 when I was doing this up close headshot of Ian and Casey in order for the Chattanooga sign to not be completely unreadable. But even at F9, look at the beautiful circular bokeh balls of the lights in the Chattanooga sign. I really like the way this photo came out and I love to make photos right here. I'm sure if you watch the channel, you've seen me show other photographs made in this spot. Now here, this, when I'm doing a full body shot of them, I was able to open it all the way up to f3.5 and it's bokeh less than it was in the previous shot at f9. And in this shot, you can see this over here in this area, this is the lobby of the Chattanooga Choo Choo Hotel, which I've done many, many photo shoots here. So I made this shot and then uh, here, here's Casey laughing in this particular shot, which I thought was really fun. And let's see what's next. Now I got a picture of just Ian. You know, this is supposed to be Ian's senior pictures, but uh, you know, we got to get pictures of Casey. And here's Ian over here, hanging out the side of the train. This, I don't, I wasn't really happy with the way this came out, but I thought Ian looked cool hanging out of the train. So there's that picture. And this is Ian and Casey beside the train with the Chattanooga Choo Choo logo on the train at F2.8, still using the 70 to 200 here. And this is the railroad tracks that are beside the train. And uh, I think this was uh, Heather's idea, suggested this composition and it came out really cool. And there is Casey. She is just about to graduate high school. So she put on her cap and gown and I made a photograph of her there at the Chattanooga sign. And this is across the street from the Chattanooga Choo Choo and the sun was setting and I, I hated it that there was all these buildings in the background, but I tried to do a uh, kind of a sun, a kind of a, a silhouette, uh, maybe lens flare, but that uh, I had switched to the 24 to 70 and that 24 to 70 really doesn't do much of a lens flare, but there still is some in the shot. I was kind of wanting some really exaggerated lens flare, but I still like the way the sun is, is uh, making bright colors in Ian's hair all the way around. And even, even around their face, you can see the brightness of the backlit photo. It came out pretty good. And I think they were, they were happy with it. Now there's a mural on this. It's a brand new hotel. That's almost directly across the street from the Choo Choo. And they had an idea of making a picture in front of that mural. And I said, Hey Ian, can you jump? And he said, yeah, I can jump. So I set the, I set the Z6 on the ground, opened it up to 24 millimeters. I kind of got my focus set up and I had him jump as high as he could jump. It took three or four attempts to get it just right, but I thought this photo came out really cool. We got the, the mural in the background, Ian way off the ground, but in focus, uh, even at F2.8, he's still in focus in the shot. And uh, I had to, you know, it was, this was made after that sunset shot. These are made, these are, I'm showing these to you in chronological order. So there wasn't a whole lot of light. Uh, and I still was able to uh, only have ISO 720 at one one thousandth of a second. I tried to do it a little slower shutter speed, but uh, I kept getting motion blur and in. But anyway, really happy with the way this picture came out. And this is just a little bit further down that same wall. This part obviously has not had a mural painted on it. Just Ian in a brick wall. And here's Ian. I had him step a little bit closer to me for this shot. I like the brick wall to be slightly out of focus on this shot. The brick wall is completely in focus, but I like this shot better with the brick wall out of focus. And then we kind of wandered around to the other side of this new hotel. And this is the first time I've ever noticed this alley. And, you know, we had the setting sun. And so the, there was beautiful golden light and there's lights on the other side of this alley where you enter that hotel. And I just really, really love the way this shot 
and the next few came out here is Casey and Ian acting silly. This is still with the 24 to 70 at 52 millimeters. And here they are, really love the color of the light in this photo of Ian and Casey. And you know, this is supposed to be Ian's senior picture. So here's a picture of Ian. Now there was a lot of wind blowing down the alley, so it was hard for his hair to settle down. Uh, this one was pretty close to settled down and this one was completely settled down. And I believe that is the last picture from the senior picture photo shoot. All right, thanks for watching those photos that I made with the Nikon Z6 and the 24-70 f2.8G and the 70-200 f2.8G VR2, as well as a little bit with a 50 millimeter 1.8. Uh, would really appreciate a thumbs up if you like the content, subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna see some more. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.